Hey, what's up? This is Tiago Titan. Welcome to my new channel. This one in English. I've been creating content for Red Shadow Legends for over a year in a non-English channel. This is actually my first video. And in this video, I'll show you the best build for Inquisitor Shamel for the Hydra Clan boss. Here is Inquisitor Shamel equipped with a taunting set, which gave him a 30% chance to place a provoke debuff for one turn. Now the, that the head of decay can be provoked, it won't be able to cleanse all debuffs from all the heads. It will make the battle easier for us. But why this set in Inquisitor Shamel? The only thing that this champion gives to the battle against the Hydra clan boss is his passive skill. He will remove all fear and true fear divas from all allies, build the allies turn meter by 15%. It will only do this to the leader of the team. So the leader will always get this 15% turn meter boost, which is amazing. This passive is only useful against the head of torment, which places these divas on our champions when we attack a head. But the other skills are useless in battle. So to make this champion more useful in battle, we can give him this taunting set because in his second ability he attacks one enemy three times. So it's three times the chance to place this provoked debuff. Also on his first ability he attacks only once, but every time an enemy places a debuff on an ally, he uses this skill against that enemy. So the head of decay when attacks places a heal reduction debuff on the enemy. So there's always this chance for Inquisitor Shamel to counterattack and of course always a 30% chance to place this provoke debuff on that head. Now the total stats, I've built my Inquisitor Shamel tanky because I don't use a reviver on my team. If you use a reviver champion, you can build Shamel more squish or less tankier. So every time he gets the mark of the Hydra to be devoured, you can let him die and then revive him. So he will lose that mark of the Hydra. Because the time he stays inside Hydra's mouth, you won't be able to cleanse those true fear debuffs, which can be very annoying and lose the champion. I didn't give him attack or crit rate or crit damage because I want the head of Torment to live as long as possible. So Inquisitor Shamel will boost the leader's turn meter more and more. And he doesn't need accuracy because the buffs placed by artifact sets don't need accuracy. And these are the masteries I gave him here to mitigate some incoming damage. And the last one here, here's some present to increase the chance of placing provoke debuff from skills or artifacts by 5%. So we have 30% from the artifact set plus 5%. So it's 35% every time Inquisitor Shamel attacks. And here in support tree, only here max HP. Here has a 30% chance to increase turn meter when a debuff cast by this champion is removed or expires. Here to increase base stat bonuses. And here to has a only 5% chance decreasing cooldown over random skill, which will always be the second one. So now that we saw Inquisitor Shamel stats and uh, sets and masteries, I'm going to show you what he can do in battle with this taunting set. As you can see, every time we hit the head of Torment, it will try, it will actually place a true fear debuff on our champion, and Inquisitor Shamel will remove it and counterattack the head of Torment. Reason why I didn't build him with attack or grid damage, because I want the head of Torment to live as long as possible. As soon as he gets his turn, he will try to provoke the head of DK. We will always use it's now, his second ability. As you can see, provoke debuff, so the head of DK won't be able to cleanse these debuffs, and we can keep dealing damage thanks to the decreased defense and weakened debuffs. Every time Inquisitor Shamel gets a turn, his focus must be always the head of DK to try to place the provoke debuff. Of course, he won't succeed every time because it's a 35% chance each hit, so he will miss sometimes, yes. But the point here is try to delay uh, the head of DK as long as possible. The longer we can keep the debuffs, the better for us. Yes, I have a backup champion here, it's Chris the Ageless. He can provoke with his H3 ability. 
can let's try here again okay here it didn't proc so he missed the debuff i also have two husks here but they don't have enough accuracy to place debuffs here this is nightmare difficulty so husks are here just for the damage because i don't want to sacrifice damage to give them more accuracy as you can see here the head of decay is not provoked so it will be it will plant all debuffs it happens it will happen more times but it's fine it will happen sometimes the more provoked debuffs we can place more turns the head of dk will take to cleanse the debuffs we can look at that as a long cooldown okay now i will let you enjoy the battle until the end
I wasn't lucky enough because the head of tournament didn't grow back. But I think it was a good battle to show what Shamel can do equipped with a taunting set to make him more useful. So that way, not only his passive is useful, but also his two active abilities can be useful to place provoke debuffs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like my content. And I will see you in the next video.